Hello, and welcome to Bits, Bytes, and Barrels 101. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Can, and I'm your resident instructor and expert on the impacts of digital technology on the oil and gas industry. This course is designed to help you, the oil and gas industry professional, the digital professional, the supplier, or the regulator, or the financier, prepare for the coming disruption to the oil and gas industry caused by digital innovations. To give you a sense of the scale, about 60% of all oil in the world is shipped via crude tanker. The OPEC countries in the Middle East, who are major producers of oil, as well as Russia, move their oil to their coastlines where it is shipped via tankers to international markets. On arrival, the oil may go into storage, but eventually will be sold to an oil refinery because oil refineries are the only customers for crude oil. Refineries process crude oil into its more valuable components. Assets only make money when they're working. Therefore, keeping them busy and at a maximum possible capacity with the right performance curve and the lowest possible energy use with the least amount of labor is how the industry makes money. Much activity in the midstream industry goes into the specific question of keeping the assets running at their peak performance level. The industry has relied on take or pay contracts for much of its design. These contracts can cause problems in the long run, when there are either changes in demand for fossil fuels, or there is a shift in the customer profile. We now face the possibility of transportation shifting over from gasoline to electric. The installation of sensors, or the Internet of Things, as we add them to pipelines, tanks, and rail cars, or processing equipment, allows us to have greater visibility to the cargoes as they work their way through the system. First is the potential for autonomous and unmanned operations. Robots working with artificial intelligence engines can make very effective decisions for the performance of assets, and as a result, the potential for more robotic midstream asset operation is very real. Today, there are already midstream assets in some parts of the value chain which are unmanned. Brownfield assets will take more time to adopt such automation, but greenfield assets will feature higher and higher levels of automation and demanning.